Since this is episode one, I'll definitely play through this. 400 years after Tyberset and his reign, the beginning will meet the end, and the bloody circle will close at the Empire of Tamriel. The unworthy heirs of the Septim dynasty have allowed the bonds of the Empire to weaken and crack. Uriel Septim, the seventh, cannot repair what his ancestors ignored. The provinces fight among themselves like neglected children, drunk with rebellion, and one indomitable power hides itself, but not forever. I'll be honest, for 1996, this was impressive. <laughs> I don't know if I ran into a game like this back then. Excuse the gloom. Especially this. But none may know of this meeting. The nature of my trouble is darker still. Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend as you are. I did grieve for him. But his spirit does not rest. With a spectral the army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying for revenge. I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Perhaps you can find the answer and close the marble jaws of oblivion, bringing peace to his soul. I ask this as your emperor, and as your friend. I have one lesser request. Several years ago, I wrote a letter to the queen of Daggerfall. It never arrived. The letter was of a sentimental and personal nature. If you find and destroy that letter, I will be grateful. Now, my champion, rest well this night, for tomorrow you sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall. I mean, for 1996, that opening scene between the book and then that live action, that was like, oh my God, this is so awesome. <laughs> I freaking loved it. <laughs> 